Bonjour everyone. Hi, this is Neshi Lokatz. Welcome to Star Nation's organization's main fan page where we're doing this guided meditation for grounding, centering, and protecting. This is a meditation that we've been doing now for three weeks and I am hoping, hoping that is helpful to you and uh, I certainly enjoy the time that I spend with all of you. So welcome everybody that's in the live chat. Thank you so much for being here on a Saturday morning or afternoon or evening, depending on where you're at around Grandmother Earth. Um, and for those that are watching uh, the recorded version, hello to you too. And I hope the, the meditation is helpful to you as well. And so, um, yeah, today's Saturday, April 11th. Let me tell you, it was yesterday was mega mega busy here. <laughs> it was publishing day yesterday. So Star Nation's April issue is uh, has been published and it's out there. And uh, yeah, it was, it, I, publishing day is just, you know, really exciting for me. I, I enjoy it. I really do. But it's really, really busy. <laughs> All right. So this morning, uh, we're here to meditate. And before we get started, I am going to send our live stream over to my newsfeed so that my friends um, who want to join us will be able to do that. It's a nice reminder for them. Um, and I would uh, suggest that, uh, or invite you, invite you to um, send the live stream over to someone that you feel it would be helpful to, whether it's a family or friend, or maybe it is uh, sending it over to uh, one of your groups, you know, that you think that would enjoy it, that would uh, find it helpful. So um, I'm going to be sending it over to my friends. And just reminding them it's meditation time. Okay, well, please join me. There we go. There's that. And um, let's see. Let me see who's in the house. Okay. So um, I think I'm going to send it over to the, the groups. And um, just to remind the peeps uh, that it's meditation time. And I know watching me do this is kind of like watching paint dry, right? <laughs> so I apologize for that, but it won't take me long. And then just to please join us. There we go. And we make sure that it's going over to the live stream shows private group and the academy private group. There we go. And you know what? I might send it over to the magazine one too. There we go. And then <laughs> all those people that I that I promised I'll let you know when we're doing the meditation so it won't take but a second here uh, yeah Every time I see Ir Mervyn Kelly's uh, name, I think of him because, you know, his mom um, just walked on this past week. And, uh, yeah, I just sending him lot, loads of love. And, uh, you know, he's he had been taking care of his elderly mom for a few years. And, you know, that's one thing Mervyn and I had in common. I think that's I think I got everybody. There we go. All right, let's do this. All right, thanks so much for being patient with me on that. I know I gotta make time. I have to make time to get that um, messenger bot set up because that way I don't have to do that during during the live stream. The the bot will do all of that. So good morning, Linda. Good to have you here. Karen's here too. Hello, Karen. Good to have you here. Good morning. And uh, Rochelle's here too. Hello, Rochelle. It's good to have you in the house. Um, I, you just made me laugh so hard um, last night, Rochelle. I saw the post that you did that you said that you were so bored <laughs> that you were taking silly pictures. Yeah, that was, um, 
you know, there's some people who are finding it, especially in this third week, starting the fourth week of home isolation kind of stuff, uh, rather they're, they're reaching the end of their rope with it, right? Um, they're definitely wanting to, wanting to move on to something else and, uh, and, and having that uh, problem with uh, the boredom because you've already cleaned all the closets and, and, uh, and all of that, right? I'm going to light some sage for us. <clears throat> and there's other people who are flat out busy because some of, like me, you know, n nothing's really changed. I'm still working and, uh, but still flat out busy. Okay. Hey, Janet's here too. Good morning, Janet. Now this, um, uh, this Saturday, um, I was going to do our meditation outside, um, because it's about 50 degrees here. It it's not too cold, right? It's actually pretty nice. Um, but, uh, my, my mom had a different idea for that. <laughs> I was, uh, needing to help her up until about, uh, about 10 minutes ago. So, uh, that's why we're in the meditation room. So welcome to my meditation room again. And, uh, good morning, Amy. Okay. So this, uh, this meditation takes about 15, 20 minutes. Um, and so you'll want to get comfortable. Um, you can, if you're on, seated in a chair or, um, furniture, um, you want your feet both on flat on the floor, arms and legs uncrossed, right? So that may mean that you have to scooch up toward that edge of the, the chair or the couch a little bit. If you're vertically challenged, in other words, short. <laughs> and uh, we want you comfortable so, you know, you can put some pillows behind you if you need it. Um, if you're sitting on the floor like I am, um, you want to sit like a small child. You know how they, they sit and they have their legs straight out, right? That's what you want to do. Um, because you, you still want to be that open um, energy field, okay? All right. You can lay on the floor if you'd like or on the bed or the couch. You can lay down. I'm not going to be showing anything on the screen, so you're not going to miss anything. As long as you can hear my voice, that's really that's all important. Um, and if you are on the floor um, or uh, lying down and you have a delicate low back, you want to protect yourself, right? And so... Um, to get some pillows or something like that underneath your, your legs so that you can relieve that uh, pressure. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Just getting ready. And if you're standing, you can do it standing. I've done this meditation or parts of this meditation standing loads of times. Um, you just, if you close your eyes, you just want to be next to something that if you um, need balance, something to steady you, okay? Uh, we want you to be safe. Okay. <clears throat> Get the throat ready. The voice ready. All right. So in a moment, I'm going to be asking you to take that big, deep breath in, right? And some people call it belly breathing. Um, it really is about taking such a big, deep breath in that your, your, your belly comes out a bit and so does your diaphragm. And you're really filling up your lungs with oxygen, right? That deep breath. At the very top of that breath, um, hold it just for a moment, and then on the exhale, you're going to blow it out, okay? Forcibly blow it out. Um, and we'll do that deep breathing, oh, two times, maybe three. Um, and so it does a few things for us. It brings more oxygen in, which is good for us. Um, it helps us to relax, um, and it also brings us to the present moment, okay? Hey, good morning, Karen. All right, so here we go. Getting situated. We're going to take that big, deep breath in, okay? Really filling up your lungs from the bottom to the top. And at the top of that breath, you're going to hold it just for a moment. And then exhale, forcibly blowing that breath out. Good. Good, good, good. You guys are really getting used to this. Those that have been with me just about every morning, right? All right. We're going to do that big, deep breath in again. I'm going to do it with you. Big, deep breath in. Holding it just for a moment. And exhaling. There. Good. Good one. All right. Hmm. I think we're going to do that one more time. Okay, big deep breath in, really filling up your lungs. 
holding it and exhaling. Good. Okay, breathing easy and naturally now. Easy, naturally. In a moment, I'll be asking you to call your birth name, your full name, in the four directions, okay? And um, your birth name, if you have a married name, you can put that on the back of your birth name. If you have a spirit name, you can use that. And we're going to be calling it to the four directions. Calling aspects of yourself home to you, okay? So calling it to the east, south, west, and north. And you can do that out loud if you like, or quietly to yourself. It's all up to you, okay? So here we go. Calling your full name. And in your imagination, imagine gathering all of the yourself that you just called home to you and bringing yourself to your heart. So that you are fully present as much as you possibly can be in this moment. Taking a nice, easy, deep breath in, and as you exhale, turning your attention to a night sky, to grandfather's sky. Gamisho must say nan in Potawatomi. And bringing to you all of those images of grandfather's sky that you just love and appreciate the stars, the moon, the sun. All of the planets, clouds and rainbows. The creator God, Goddess, the Great Mystery, the Prime Creator, the Central Sun, Just noticing how much you love Grandfather Sky. And telling Grandfather Sky that you love him. Grandfather Sky, I love you. Grandfather Sky, I love you. I love you. And asking Grandfather Sky to send you love and blessings to you. Sensing feeling, seeing, the Creator's golden sparkling light of love and blessings flowing to you, down through your crown chakra, the top of your head, that golden sparkling light flowing down through your third eye. 
down through your throat chakra. Down through your high heart. The creator's love and blessings in that golden sparkling light flowing down through your heart chakra. Down through your solar plexus. Down through your sacral chakra. And down through your root chakra. The creator's golden sparkling light of love and blessings flowing down through both your hips. Your thighs. Down through your knees and your calves. Down through your ankles and your feet. And with your intention, sending the Creator's love and blessings, that golden sparkling light, down through your insteps of both your feet, down into Grandmother Earth, all the way to her core, to her heart, connecting you to Grandmother Earth's heart. Take in a nice, easy, deep breath in, and on the exhale, imagining, sensing, feeling, seeing that golden sparkling light flowing through you, having a gentle spiral clockwise for women, counterclockwise for men. That spiraling golden light of love and blessings flowing down through you. Down into Grandmother Earth, to her heart. Balancing you, centering you. Grounding you to Grandmother Earth. Take in a nice, easy, deep breath in, and on the exhale, turn in your attention to Grandmother Earth. Kokmiski Khan in Potawatomi, our Grandmother Earth. And bringing to you all of those images of that you just love and appreciate about Grandmother Earth. All of nature. Those who fly, those who crawl, those who swim, the four-legged, the tree people, all things green. all bodies of water, the stone people, the wind, The nature spirits, 
as devas and elementals. The two-legged, your children, your grandchildren, nieces and nephews, friends and family, all of Grandmother Earth's children. And telling Grandmother Earth that you love her. Grandmother Earth, I love you. Grandmother, I love you. I love you. And asking Grandmother Earth to send you her love and blessings. Sensing, feeling, seeing her love coming to you, flowing up through your feet as a green sparkling light of love and blessings, up through your ankles and your calves, up through your knees and your thighs, up through both your hips. Grandmother Earth's green sparkling light of love and blessings flowing up through your root chakra and your sacral chakra, up through your solar plexus, the green sparkling light of love and blessings flowing up through your heart chakra and your high heart, up through your throat chakra and your third eye, Grandmother Earth's love and blessings, her green sparkling light flowing up through your crown chakra, through the top of your head. And with your intention, sending this love and blessings flowing through you up to the sun, to Grandfather Sky. Up to the Creator, God, Goddess, great mystery, the prime creator to the central sun, connecting you to Grandfather Sky. Sensing, feeling, seeing how much Grandmother Earth loves you and how much Grandfather Sky loves you. And how much you love them. The Divine Father, the Divine Mother, and you, their Divine Child, creating the Holy Trinity right here on Earth. Taking a nice, easy, deep breath in. And as you exhale, calling to you, your full spiritual team, to come close 
your guides, guardians, angels, teachers, allies, your power animals, your totems, nature spirits, ancestors, star beings, your full tea, and asking those that are on your spiritual team that assists you with protection to please step forward to create that circle of protection around you 360 degrees in all frequencies for all dimensions, time and space allowing in only those energies that are meant for your highest good. Asking your guardian angel, the one who knows you the best and the longest, was there when your soul was conceived and loves you the most. To please be your bouncer, to double check all energies flowing through, to ensure that they are for your highest good. If they're there not for your highest good, to have them removed, transmuted to love upon release, and if necessary, to have them taken to a, escorted to a uh, place justly earned. Now is a good time to be able to ask your spiritual team for any assistance, any help that you may need for today or this evening, depending on where you're at. Anything that you need assistance with. Nothing's too small or too large. And I'll give you a moment to do that. thanking them, telling them that you love them, <laughs> for all their assistance that they give you, so appreciative. Taking a nice, easy, deep breath in, and as you exhale, Coming back to the present time, to the room in your home, back to my meditation room. And we're ready. We're set to meet our day or evening. It was good, especially that last piece. I loved it when um, it was like, tell them, tell them how much you, you know you love them. I love you. I do. I love my team. They're always here with me. I I talk to them all the time, um, asking them questions or just having a conversation with them, um, and how much they help me every day, <laughs> every day. All right, so let's see. Okay. Stephanie's doing here. Hello, Stephanie. Jules joined us. Hello, Jules. Bobby's here. Hello, Bobby. Irene's here. Hello, Rob's here, and so is Winona. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Um, 
And for some reason today, I don't know why, could be the, the humidity change, but as I'm talking, I can hear my voice echoing off the drum behind me and the drums um, to my, my left. Um, it's kind of, I don't know, it sounds kind of cool. So um, we're, uh, <laughs> hi Karen, she says, uh, so glad I made it back from my walk in time to be part of this Grounded Live. You're welcome, Karen. I'm glad you could join us. Um, tomorrow is Sunday, is Easter Sunday, and uh, best wishes to those who celebrate Easter um, and to those that have been celebrating Passover. Um, yeah, there's uh, tomorrow, you know, normally right now I'd be saying, you know, join me tomorrow, but tomorrow, I'm going to take tomorrow off, um, or at least most of the day. Um, and so we won't be doing a live um, morning meditation, okay? We have uh, lots of um, recorded ones now, three weeks worth. And so if you need assistance, especially this evening, because you need to do your, your meditation again in 12 hours, right? So if you need assistance tonight or tomorrow morning um, and, and uh, tomorrow evening, um, if you want, you can select one of the recorded uh, meditations that we have here at Star Nations and uh, um, but I'll be able to be with you on Monday morning so you can join me then um, tomorrow night Sunday night now I kind of debated about this a bit <laughs> because it with it being a holiday right um, our time together at the Star Nations Academy private group um, we offer a monthly free mini class as a thank you to all of you um and so and it falls on on easter sunday right well i i went ahead and planned it and um you'll see it in the chat and at the academy in the chat there um or in the comments we're going to be talking about empaths just the basic stuff because there's some people who um may be you know having some questions about that um and so we're going to be meeting at 8 p.m. Eastern time for um, the mini class. And that lasts about maybe an hour or so. Um, and so we're going to be trying something um, new that I'm hoping will help everybody kind of get used to it because all of our online classes are have been on Zoom and will be continuing to be on Zoom. And so for some people who may not have used Zoom before, I thought this would be a good practice session for you guys to be able to click on the link and to get into the um, into the class, right? So if you want to join us for that, even if it's just to practice using Zoom, um, that would be helpful, not just to you guys, but to us too, because uh, um, if we don't spend a whole lot of time at Zoom, or some of us don't. Uh, because all of my all of my meetings and calls happen on Zoom, so you guys can join us for that. That's tomorrow night, Sunday at um, eight p.m. Eastern time. Okay, for the mini class. Hey, Lynn. She says thank you again for this morning's meditation. You're welcome, Lynn. Now, here's I know that we're we usually are done done, and you know we head out to our day, right? But I have a question for you guys, and I'll post it too. So. Um, others can weigh in. Um, I had said when we, when I started doing these meditations that, um, we would do them until the mid April or end of April, then we would, uh, kind of reassess and see where we're at. Right. And so we're kind of at that, that place of reassessment. Um, and so if this has um, been helpful to you as we are moving through this COVID home isolation or some people with quarantine. Um, if this has been helpful to you to get, you know, to prepare for your day and to prepare for your evening, I'd be happy to continue. Um, if we need to do something else, I'd be happy to do that as well, uh, depending on what it is. <laughs> And maybe, you know, maybe it is doing a short meditation and maybe just having um, an open open mic kind of thing. You know, um, if, if you guys want to talk about something, maybe grab a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and meet for um, the round table open. Um, something like that. I don't know. 
whatever you guys let me know okay whatever you need and we'll see if we can if we can work it out and provide it um, so think about it feel about it and let me know okay you can put the comments here if you want um, I will make a uh, put a comment in probably the private group for the live stream shows um, and also at here at the public uh, business page and and just kind of take a, an assessment okay see what you guys need and uh, and we'll see what we can do about it so we're ready we're set for our day or evening we're grounded we're centered we're protected we're ready to meet the energy that's flowing today right um, I always say that um, now we're ready to be able to take care of our families take care of ourselves um, meet our community and also to we're in a good position to do our soul work right so uh, enjoy the rest of your Saturday and we'll be joining me for a class tomorrow night it's a free mini class we're going to be holding it in the uh, private group the Star Nations Academy private group and so if you're not a member of that group please just uh, um, go there and request to join and uh, either Julie or myself will get you fixed up for that and then you can join us in the evening okay all right so we'll see you back here for the grounding um centering and protecting meditation guided meditation on monday morning at 10 a.m central time all right so enjoy the rest of your day bama mina that's potawatomi for until we see each other again love you guys <laughs>